Are you looking for ways to display your rings? Then stick around and I will show you a few different ways you can do just that. Hello, my name is Liz and I am from PreciousFeelings.Live where you can find awesome jewelry. Make sure to check the description box so you can find out how we can get connected. If you've been trying to find creative and inexpensive ways to display your rings, you know this can get tricky and write down difficult sometimes. I wanted to find a way to display my rings that was easy, that I could reconfigure in different ways, that was a simple idea, but involved no drilling, no painting, you know the drill, you know the drill. And I wanted to do it with the materials that I have laying around the house or that I could easily get it at the dollar store or at the hardware store. So I found a way that is very, very easy. And it's as easy as peel and stick. For other DIY display ideas, make sure to watch these other videos next, right here on our channel. But first, it would be really, really great if you could hit that subscribe button and click on the notifications bell. So come along for the ride and I want to show you a simple idea that you can turn into at least four different ways to display your rings. Let's go. If you're doing all four projects, you are going to need a three ring binder. These are two inch binders from the dollar store. You can get a simple one. You can get one that is fancier with the colors that match your business and has a zipper. Uh, whatever it is that you want. If you want a bigger binder, you can get it as well at perhaps a different store. You will need cardstock paper. This one is 100 pounds and 271 GSM. Clear sheet protectors from your favorite brand. A picture frame, I use an eight by 10 because it conveniently fit my artist's canvas, also from the dollar store. And they also have the canvas in different sizes. So if you want to make a bigger display, you have that choice as well. You will also need a box with a lid. I got this one from the dollar store and the lid is attached to the box. So it makes it very easy to deal with and lock it in place. But you can choose whatever box you prefer. The secret ingredient of this whole project is the sponge window seal that I got at the hardware store. I got it in the color black and it has a peel and stick backing. Here's what it looks like when it's out of the packaging. The first project is a picture frame ring display and you're going to need the 8x10 picture frame, cardstock paper, sponge window seal and the 8x10 artist canvas, but that's optional depending on the type of frame you have. You're going to start by removing the back of the frame. You're going to remove those clips that hold everything in place. You're going to see that this frame from the dollar store is very flimsy and that's why I needed the artist canvas. Remove that paper that comes uh, in front of the glass and you're going to remove the glass as well. Get everything out until you just have the frame. Then you're going to use that paper that comes in the frame to trace on your cardstock paper the exact size you need your cardstock paper to be for your frame. This way there's no measuring, it's very easy and you're ready to cut exactly on the lines that you marked. Cut and you're gonna have the perfect size for your frame. The next step is to get that frame and place that paper that you just cut right there where the glass used to be. You are not gonna use the glass for this. The paper is gonna fit perfectly on there. The reason I am placing the canvas as the back of the frame right now is because the original back that came with my dollar store frame was very flimsy. So if you're gonna do this uh, and want it to last, I would recommend that you use a frame that is a little bit sturdier than the one I got from the dollar store. Next, return the back of the frame and secure it in place. Here's something you need to know about the window seal foam that we're gonna use. Compared to the foam that comes with your paparazzi ring, it is very similar in size to the sides of the foam and the thickness is just a little bit thinner, but it's still pretty close. So it was the perfect choice for this project. Next, what we have to do is to cut the strips around the size of the paper or the canvas that we are using. And we're gonna mark that the inside of the canvas and we're gonna peel and stick our foam right there from edge to edge of the frame. 
and we are going to repeat that until we reach the end of the frame. We are now ready to line up all our rings in that first row to place the next row of foam. And on this 8x10 frame, I can fit seven rings. Once you place the next foam, make sure it's nice, tight, and secure. There's some wiggle room there, and you can slide the foam even though there's a peel and stick adhesive there you can still slide it to make sure that things are not going to fall off i am using the row of rings here as a guide to the thickness of the space between the foams and with every row i am going to line up my rings and push them tight so everything is going to fit perfectly when i am done i don't want anything that comes out so easily that would fall off my tray this window seal foam is very forgiving and allows you to play with it and push things back adjust and you have time before it sets in place and you can see i raised it up and nothing is falling down off my tray Repeat this process of lining up all your rings and then sticking your phone, pushing it back, making sure everything is secure until you're finished with your whole frame. You can customize this frame whichever way you want to fit thicker back rings or thin back rings. You can mix and match, you can make a tray of all thicker back rings, you can make it sideways and you can put all the lines horizontally. Whichever way you want to make your tray, it will work. Now let's take the same idea and take it to the next level. And let's make this project number two here, which is a ring display book. And for this one, you're gonna need a three ring binder, cardstock paper, sponge window seal, and a sheet protector. I removed the cardstock paper with the foam from the canvas backing. And now I have a flexible display that is not very sturdy, but it's very useful because it is thin and movable. And I can place this whole thing inside a sheet protector and place it in my binder. And now I have a ring binder. This sheet protector that you're seeing right now is from the dollar store. And as you can see, it is very thin, but it will still work if that's what you have. And when you do it right, none of the rings will fall off. Everything stays in place. Here's a profile view with the setup using the dollar store sheet protector. As you can see, it will wrinkle very easily because it's very thin. Now, this is a name brand sheet protector that is sturdier and thicker and will not wrinkle as easily. And I can turn the page and as I did before, none of the rings fall off. Everything stays in place and it's so beautiful. Can you imagine it full of rings and pages of your rings? Oh, that's fabulous to take it to a quick party or just at a friend's house for a quick visit and you pull this book out. Fantastic. Let's keep expanding this idea and do project number three, which is a ring display box. For this one, you're going to need a box with a lid, the cardstock paper, and the handy dandy sponge window seal. The idea here is still the same. Just trim the paper to the size that you need for your box. And uh, that's it you have a ring box. Project number four is a ring display stand. And for this one, you're gonna need the artist canvas, cardstock paper, sponge window seal, and a stand. Again, I attached the foam to the cardstock paper and placed it on the artist canvas. You can see the rings stay on pretty securely if you do it right, if you push it back and make it nice and snug. And now you have a beautiful display where people can easily see the front of your rings. So tell me in the comments which display idea you think you're gonna do next. And don't forget to tell me which one of these displays was your favorite. And remember, your sparkle is what makes everything around you shine. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.